Hey, what is up gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and yeah, Avowed on Game Pass has been quite the pain when it comes to trying to use DLSS4 and trying to get the, uh, the preset models or the override to actually work. Now, currently I am on the regular uh, DLSS for this game, and it's actually 3.5. It doesn't look the greatest, of course. Now, we're on ultra performance mode and we'll go into why we're using ultra performance mode in a minute. I turned off the frame generation. We do have some upgraded models with that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the models real quick. All right. So if we look at the, uh, the apps and engines that you're able to use, uh, avowed is here and you can see it has the MV, MV, MVT. And everything set there and as you've seen i have a little thing to let us know because without going all the way up to actually look at that we have some new uh transformer model for the dlss super resolution and we also have it for dlaa and then we also have the upgraded model for uh frame generation and if you have a 50 series you can use uh, multi frame gen via the app now these symbols here and we've gone through this in some of the other videos that if it has the mv there that means you have to use the the app to be able to use that model um if it does not and it just has a check mark like in here if it just has this check mark and it just has a check mark that means it's native to the game so you don't have to use the uh the override this is not a dlss swapper which a lot of people definitely confuse it to be it's not a dlss swapper um it's just for games that nvidia has whitelisted and for you know their override and just so you can actually use it for games that don't have the native support for it as it says on the top as, as you can see here uh as i was mentioning the uh in the table check mark donates a game a uh, game or app has native support for DLSS feature. So that means if it has it in there, it already has the native, you don't have to use the app. And that's why it has the other stuff like the, uh, let's see, the super resolution DLSS ray tracing construction with the MVT with the transformer model that you need to use it via the app, the NVIDIA app override. So if you just have the check marks, you're good. You can't really use the the override for it. Now let's go ahead and check out our overrides uh, for this game. Now here was the biggest problem with, uh, I'd, I'd say with Avowed, but it's not really Avowed. It's only the Game Pass version that really has this problem. Um, it wasn't working up until like yesterday or the day before. I found out yesterday, checked it out and found out it is actually working now. Um, now here's your, your upgrade models. Now one thing you'll find out is if you try to launch it from here you're gonna get an error down here it's not even it's not even giving me the error <laughs> oh it's because i have i have the game open okay hold on a second oh all of a sudden there it goes there's a problem while launching the program application launch failed so game pass or i'd say windows microsoft they use a different path for your game files which is protected so you know you can't steal their game easier or less easier. I don't know. It's on another platform, so I don't know why it really even care. But with their software, it can't. You can't even access it yourself, even as administrator on your own computer. So uh, it wasn't loading our DLSS. Now it actually is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the game. I have everything set to just the primary uh, 3D applications. So. Whatever we see is what we get. So we're going to go over there and check it out a little bit. All right. So now we are, we're back in game and we're using the settings we were before. We're going to go ahead and set this to ultra performance, turn frame generation off, apply that. Now we're going to be using, uh, just the regular DLSS. As you can see, there is some shadowing on my character's head on, you know, the, the shield and everything. And yeah, it just, it kind of looks awful. <laughs> Uh, we'll just go ahead and run, I mean, we'll compare these a little bit with the newer, uh, for, uh, DLSS as well, because it's really just, uh, an upgraded transformer model that it just looks better. It tries to get closer to like a quality setting, but at the cost of a little bit of, you know, FPS because it is trying to do more, but all in all, it's not really 
that bad even in ultra performance and ultra performance is meant you know for like 8k or something like that but uh they only give us uh dlaa and uh ultra performance so we don't have a dlaa in game or native so we really have to just kind of you know guess that the the dlaa is better and i really don't get more than 60 fps on dlaa in this game because it is really demanding but we will take a quick look at it before we're done here all right I, I think we did enough here we're gonna go ahead and change our transformer model our dlss model oh all right so now here we go we have our, mo our model presets in if you don't see this at all, you may need to reinstall the NVIDIA app and then relaunch your game. Uh, you want to relaunch your game and put it in ultra performance mode so that it will pick it up. Um, now on uh, Game Pass, sometimes it doesn't pick it up and it is really annoying. So, you know, some trial and error has to happen, but all in all, you should be able to get it. Now you can go ahead and switch uh, to different versions here. We'll be using latest in ours, but they actually added the K preset because K preset is actually the latest preset. And I don't think they added another one since then, but uh, we'll just use latest here. And that'll give us that because now that now it's going to use the, the latest versions on what we can actually use. Now, um, when we go in here now, this isn't going to change your actual super resolution for some reason. I don't know why they, they, they put it like that. But if you just put it at latest and go in, it's still going to use the old model. And I was trying to use DLSS Swapper, uh, as you can see here, to try to uh, change it. And you see the original is 3.5. And if I rescan it and everything, it'll still be the 3.5 until I actually upgrade with this. So if we go to our ultra performance, 33%. Uh, it will give us the best idea of what the DLSS is doing. I know it's like not the best uh, That you would actually use but that's what they give us uh, when it's not supported It's only for the ones that are not supported any ones that have the check on there You'll be able to use any of the resolutions. It's just this for some reason They didn't only want to give us ultra performance and DLAA uh, It's annoying, but that's how it is. All right, let's go ahead and relaunch the game and see how it goes All right, so we are back and we have the new DLSS running and there's some things that is almost worse. Now the shadowing and like ghosting around my character is definitely less than it was as you see around myself and the performance is pretty close to how it was. Um, you can see there's like a little weird things with my shield but we don't have as much of the shadowing going on where it was kind of weird and stuff around my head and the shield uh, but it does look way better than it was a lot of the um, the things that the uh, transformer model you know improved was the shadowing or I would say uh, ghosting or what they say <laughs> pretty much everybody says but yeah uh, mostly the ghosting on your character has changed up uh, they did a little better at it I mean we're still getting decent performance and I mean, we should be getting defense performance because we're on ultra performance. But if we turn on uh, frame gen, it's really not that beneficial. Uh, if we were in ultra performance here, uh, if we go ahead and turn that on now, if I change the super resolution, it's not going to change anything really, um, mainly because we're uh, using the override. The override won't let us actually change that. So I can change it to whatever I want and it's not going to do anything. And what I'll show you, you can see we're getting, you know, 140 frames. Actually, I haven't fully tried the new uh, model and it is actually giving us a lot with frame generation because we have the latest frame generation one on. But look at uh, up by where my up in the sky there. That looks so weird. Uh, I mean, and on one, on one thought, frame generation will give you the extra frames, but that just looks really, really weird. And I don't know if it's the model that's doing it or if it's just how the game is. I never actually looked at the... I'll have to look on the regular 
without frame generation and everything. Well, let's go ahead and change that. Now. Oh, we can't because look at it. We can go quality and you'll see nothing actually changes. We can't change. We can't change it because we're using the override. The override will negate anything you have in there. I wonder if that's part of the, the model. So we're going to go ahead, exit out of the game, uh, load up the default version again, because I definitely got to see if it's that. Okay, we are back in with default, and look at that. We're not seeing it in the old model. Yeah, so... <laughs> if I mean, if you're always looking up, I mean, there's a little bit uh, within the smoke there of that weird... I don't know what to call I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of like uh, this fuzziness and like regenerating. Like you can see it around the edges of the clouds here and there. But definitely not as bad as it was. Look, we're jumping down to 64. Why are we running down so much? I think we're unbalanced. Oh, we're still on quality. Ah. Okay, now we can actually use the ultra performance. Okay, let's see if it's ultra performance that's doing it. It's ultra performance. All right, all right. So, yeah, uh, ultra performance definitely makes your clouds look like something awkward. So if we can, we can turn it up to, you know, quality and we're probably good. I was wondering why I was getting the 60 FPS, down to 60 FPS. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would probably run this with quality DLSS and frame generation on. Uh, DLAA is sometimes a little bit too much. But yeah, you see in quality, we definitely don't see the weirdness in the clouds. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and load up uh, DLAA and uh, see how crazy that is. We might have to use uh, frame generation for that. All right, we have DLAA on, and as you see on the RTX 4080 with the i7-14700K, we can barely break 40 frames per second. We don't have any weirdness in the clouds, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and turn on frame generation. It should give us just around 60. Uh, that's how I was getting before. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of frame generation in a lot of games. Uh, there are some that it looks, you know, decent. And this one definitely seems like it's one of them. But it seems like, I, I feel like the frames are, are slow. And maybe it's because I'm just so used to always being, you know, like 100 plus frames per second. So this does look really, really good. But I don't know if the trade off of having such less frames per second, like if there's anything major going on, you know, we're going to drop under 60 and probably hit the 50s somewhere. I mean, it's playable and I'm afraid to see what it's going to be like, because right now I'm getting some input lag. I'm definitely getting a little bit of input lag. Uh, because, you know, my original frames per second is only, you know, 35 to 40. And that's going to give us more uh, lag. If we're getting 60 on normal, then our input lag is going to be a much, much less. But that is quite a bit uh, of, of lag for me. Uh, even in a game like this, I mean, it's not too bad if I'm using controller. Because I, I do use controller in this once in a while. Uh, it, it's not too bad. But it just, it feels slow and it feels kind of awkward. And like, the frame generation of me doing that looks really weird. It's just trying to generate too many frames. <laughs> it's like literally generating frame for frame or trying to. Uh, and, you know, we can't really change that out. You know, even go ultra performance, we're still going to get the same. Because <laughs> we're using the override. Uh, and a lot of people didn't understand that. Uh, you have to use the override for games like this to have the MV on it. And I was like, oh, what? Well, why are you using ultra performance? And I'm like, this is how you have to do it with the override. And it it kind of sucks. But I am glad that we can actually use DLSS 4 now with the new uh, Transformer model and Avowed. Because Game Pass, it was... It was a pain. I was kind of getting some buyer's remorse there. Um, I have Game Pass, but also I got the uh, like $30 uh, expansion, whatever, DLCs and everything, so I can get the early access to the game. Because I definitely like the game. The game is great, but there's very little support. If you have the Steam version, you would have already been able to use the new models and everything. 
But yeah, this is just so awkward. Yeah, the frame generation on these low uh, frames, eh, it's not it's not that good. It's not worth uh, just getting to 60 FPS. Definitely would recommend uh, using the Ultra Performance, which you'll have weird clouds and everything, or just using the original uh, 3.5 uh, and you know use like balanced or uh, performance mode, even quality. Quality looks pretty good. And you can use frame generation just as long as you're already getting at least like 50 frames per second. If you're not, then yeah, you're gonna have this weird awkwardness and extra input lag. Anyway, let me know what you think of this game. Uh, or I would say DLSS 4 in this game, if you're able to get it working now, because I know I was pretty frustrated for the last week, week and a half, that we weren't able to get uh, DLSS 4 working on here on the Game Pass version. Anyway, that's all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.